Okay, so now they're going to give us a sequence. It says write a formula for the general term, the nth term, of the arithmetic sequence. And they give us the sequence. So I'm going to make that a little bigger. Negative 2, 8, 18, 28, and so on and so forth. That's the sequence. And they're telling you it's arithmetic, so we're going to believe them. So we're going to use the formula, the general term formula, a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Now, they want us to write a formula for the general term. That means we won't know n. It'll be in terms of n. But we do know what a sub 1 is, and we can figure out what d is. And that's what we're supposed to do from the information they give us. So a sub 1, in this case, is negative 2, because that's where it starts. And then what is d? Well, remember, take any two consecutive terms. I would do the one that's easiest. Like for me, I'm going to do 28 and 18. So what's 28 minus 18? Now you have to know which one to put first, because remember, subtraction is not commutative, so it makes a difference. But we get here that d is 10. Now, is, does it make sense that it's positive? Are the numbers going up? So am I adding 10 to negative 2? Am I adding 10 to 8? Am I adding 10 to 18? Yeah, so that's the common difference. Even though it's called a difference, <laughs> it's positive, so it's 10. Okay, then we can write a sub n equals the first term, negative 2, plus n minus 1 times 10. Now, they could leave it that way, but they probably are going to simplify it. So we're going to distribute, and then I'm going to combine like terms and get negative 12 plus 10d. Or they might even write 10d plus that. They'd probably write minus 12. Um, I'm not sure which way they would put it. I, you know, my mathematical algebra mind says put it. Why do I have a d? Because I made a mistake. <laughs> Should have been an N. I don't know. You're probably like, why did she make that mistake? Okay, there we go. 10N minus 12. All right, someday I'll redo this video, but we're just going to go with it. There you go. Um, yeah. All right.